everyone, this is Lily Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing an automatic writing from the DM to the DF. We'll see what's going on in here. Uh, we have our monthly competition on this week. So do like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I will go through the list of the subscribers to see who won the free reading. And we will have that draw next Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. All right. So this is the draw for October. One lucky person will win a free reading or automatic writing. It will be on my other channel as well, the Pick a Card channel. It is in the description below and also in the featured channels. All right, DM to DF. I want you to know that I'm thinking about you, DF. I haven't been communicating, not because I don't want to see you or hear from you, but because I'm working on myself and trying to figure out what this connection between us actually is. I have never felt this way about someone before, and I need to understand this. These feelings that I have, it just gets so overwhelming sometimes. Why are you constantly in my dreams and on my mind? I know every time something is wrong on your end. How is that possible? I pretend that I don't feel the same way, but I do. I'm just totally scared of this whole spiritual connection that you say we have. I want to take it slow, to lay a good foundation and not to rush into this. I feel like I'm not ready and then I'm not worthy of your love. You have everything figured out. And for me, everything is so up in the air. I haven't even managed to put an end to this karmic relationship completely. It's still dragging on. I'm a bit attached to the karmic in some way. And I know that I need to get out of this situation as soon as I can. I want to reach out to you for help, but I'm afraid that you will judge me on my past and on the life that I'm living. I want you to love me for who I am and not for who I will be in the future. Since there are no guarantees that I would ever change into this spiritual person, I'm not even sure that I can trust myself because the discipline is not even there yet. I'm willing to try anything and everything that points me on the path to you. So I hope I won't disappoint you, dear, because you've taught me so much already about myself and about divine love. I feel my heart chakra expanding more and more. I sense compassion for complete strangers now, and I want to show the people around me more love and understanding. I feel I have so much to give, but on the other hand, I'm not willing to receive. Not yet. I don't know if I'm worthy of that. I have lots of karma to transmute. Many mistakes that I've made have to be forgiven first, and then I can start feeling better about myself. Please don't judge me too harshly when I tell you about my past. I'm so afraid to lose you over this. Brian, Zia, Craig, Rhonda, Neil, and Maria. All right, guys, so we have a DM to DF letter right here. And it seems like there's so many things going on. The DM wants to make the changes. It seems like they are willing to do so. They have the motivation. They have more faith. But they're not sure exactly if they will succeed. So they don't want to get your hopes up and then disappoint you. So they're saying, look, I'm going to try every single thing I can. But I'm not going to to you know pretend to guarantee success here and so with that they're taking the pressure off of themselves uh, i feel this is like their best offer you know just to at least try and i feel that the dm is trying a lot to come into your space and to come forward they're trying to get out of that comic situation as well completely because some of them have distanced themselves but i feel for some of them they're still attached in some way so maybe financially maybe through paperwork maybe through a marriage uh, whatever it is they're still attached to the kids and they're trying to you know break free even though um, they know that it's going to be a tough fight 
All right, so we're going to go in with the cards just to see what else is going on with this DMDF relationship. Is the DM going to come forward sooner or later? How are they going to do it? And also, what are they talking about when they say their past? Uh, let's find out what are, what are some of those things that they want to tell you. Okay, let us go in here. All right, so I'll go in with this shade on my shade first. And we'll see what's going on in the DM's life right now. And we'll see what this past is all about. This is the past. Okay. All right. So I feel that the DM is saying that they made the wrong choice with the comic. When they chose the comic, they knew somewhere that it was a wrong choice, right? But they still went ahead with it because they thought that, you know, people would judge them for uh, not going ahead. They felt that it was about status it was about a comfortable situation it was about money it was about how people see them and this karmic situation and now they realize that that was not the right choice so the dm is looking for new opportunities and new ways of looking at things so this is why they're tapping into the spiritual now they feel that they have uh, had enough of you know those toxic relationships and they're ready to make a change and I see them making the decision to at least try a positive relationship for once right and um, in their past it seems like they had been betrayed they had been betrayed by some people um, and I feel this is also financial as well and it is also um, there is some sort of abuse, like physical abuse here. Okay, So this is what I'm getting psychically from these cards. Uh, so it's like this. They, they wonder if you will accept them, even though you know about all the abuse they tell you that happened to them. And I feel that this abuse created a lot of anger inside them and they had some violent... I feel either fights or some situations where they had been violent with other people and they, that they haven't told you about, right? So now your person is trying to stay as calm as possible because they know when they become violent, they um, can go to some extremes. So they're keeping that from you because they don't want to scare you. So maybe your person, either they had a run-in with the law once or they almost had a run-in. So this is what I feel from these cards right here. This is what they're showing me. And I feel that the karmic may have like known about some of this. And this is why they felt that the karmic was more was better suited for them because the karmic was kind of in this situation before. And they feel like you don't know about this type of like dramatic situation and that you wouldn't be able to understand them. So they don't want to taint you with their negativity or their negative past things that they did that they regret right now and so this is why they are standing back just watching and hoping that you will accept them for who they are and their past is also who they are so this is why they made the wrong choice some wrong choices in the past and they're wondering if you will be able to see past that okay all right so let us see uh, what's going on right now for them so little by little, they will give you hints about what happened. So a very unstable situation for your person right now. Uh, even though they want to, you know, write you this letter or they want to send you a text call, they're weighing those consequences out in their mind and they're thinking through things a lot, right? And I feel that this karmic situation is not helping. They know that they have to get rid of it and it's giving them some sort of anxiety as well. And they're very nervous about, you know, what's going to happen. Is the comic going to accept things, um, accept them distancing themselves so much? Or are they going to have drama again? So they're weighing that consequence right there. 
So um, it seems like in their jobs, uh, it's like I see them juggling. Like they're trying to get, they're trying to stay uh, stable. And somebody is sweeping them off of their feet in that way. It's like as soon as they try to stand up, someone knocks them down. So there's some big changes coming for the DM here. Big changes at work. And this is a reason also why they have not been contacting you as much as they used to because there's so much to deal with and they need to wrap their minds around that a bit as well. Okay. All right. So we will go in um, and see what's going on with the DF. What are the intentions here for the DM to the DF? So we know that they want to send something. They want to come forward. Are they sincere when they say that they want to try everything possible? That's a question. So we'll go to the fairies for this. Ace of Summer in reverse. The Moon in reverse. Ace of Spring in reverse. And we have the Awakening with the Hangman. Okay. Right. So your person is, um, you know, they're very confused, but they want to try. And they want to come forward and they want to make everything clear. But I feel there's going to be some delays in what they're saying. So they're saying, oh my God, I'm going to come forward for you. I want to send you this and I want to do that. And they're talking, talking, talking. And then when it comes down to that certain date, then they cancel. I feel this energy of cancellation and delays here. And your person does have their heart open, right? They really want to do that for you, but they are so depressed. They feel like everything they do just turns to crap or it gets washed away or, you know, so they, they feel like, should this, is this effort going to be worth it? And they're asking themselves that question. Is it going to be worth it in the, in the long run? And I feel they're just about to do it and then they convince themselves that you're going to reject them or something. So they're all in their thoughts here. And, you know, they have this bad side and they have this good side. And the bad side is telling them they're not worth it. So it's all about self-worth. We have the moon as well. And your person cannot seem to get the clarity that they need. Okay. They are... They are getting some downloads, but I feel that they are still a little bit confused because of this Ace and Summer in reverse. They're confused on where their heart lies, right? So like it's, it's like they will dream about you or they will feel what you're feeling and then they will dismiss it. And they'll say, oh, no, that's just my imagination. Or they'll have someone say something that reminds them of you and then they say, oh, you know, it's just a coincidence. So they need to work on their faith here, I feel. They really do need to work on their faith because they are getting the messages, but they're dismissing them. Um, and this Ace of Spring here for your person. So it just feels that your person is frustrated with the whole thing because they feel like they're doing their best or at least they're trying and things just get, you know, sabotaged and they have all this work and they feel that they don't have time for themselves so they don't even have time for you and so this is why they are feeling a little bit disappointed and frustrated here but they are awakening more and more and they could feel it because I, they spoke about that heart chakra expansion even though they don't understand it they know that something is happening because they have never felt this way before about anyone right and so this is going to push them to contact you at some point, whether they they feel like it's going to be a success or not. So I feel like um, the DF is going to get some contact this month from the DM because the DM will be curious as to what is going on here. Uh, and they will be pushed because the 
the synchronicities will be a little bit too much for them, right? So maybe you can look forward to that contact in like one or two weeks. Uh, one or two weeks, yes. I feel that there's going to be contact with the DM here. And they might talk to you about the symptoms that they feel uh, or like big changes in their lives. And this is why, because of this awakening. Okay, so um, let us go in and see what else the guides want us to know about this connection. going forward okay this connection seems to be on some sort of like short separation right now it's like things were going smoothly and then there was a step back right so four steps forward two steps back does mean progress okay so it seems like it's not progressing but it is so just when things are going well then there's no communication and you don't know why but this is actually going forward and this is what spirit wants you to know look at that sun there and they're saying to look at this relationship in a positive light because it is advancing the two of you are expanding and awakening here it is transforming into this beautiful butterfly and we see that rose pink rose in the back always a symbol of love and the divine always a symbol of awakening to the spiritual world and the 5d so the two of you are awakening more and more so i see some spiritual connections and spiritual discussions between the two of you um, not only about love and not only about meeting up it's also about uh the spiritual and i feel these conversations will happen soon there will be um maybe your person is going to surprise you because they are starting to get curious curious about all of this Twin flame journey stuff. Solitude. Okay, so it says, don't be too much in retreat. Yes, you do have to sit with yourself in order to figure out some things as well, DF. But they're saying, do accept the invitation from your DM if they come forward. And do accept the invitation from other people and get out of the house. It's time to interact. It's time to share. It's time to do some networking. And it's also time to share your light. Don't just keep it for yourself because you're not here to just meditate all day at home. You are also here to share with others and get that interaction done. Okay, so this is what you'll be focusing on this week. So you can look forward to a message very soon. I feel one week, two weeks. Um, and your person is going to be very curious about all of this. All right, so I'm going to leave you with this reading right here. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And all the information for the competition is in the description below. So do check that out. Love and light to you all. Take care.